Hey guys, welcome back to Wind Chaser. Um, we finally finished up all of our planting. E Let me see here. Um, oh, we still have some corn. And our corn is, the price on corn is terrible though. Uh, we just rented a 44, 40 Patriot. And we're going to go run down to uh, go pick it up. And you can see that all the blue is um, all the fields we're farming now. Um, these three fields here, 44, 3, and 18 are alfalfa we planted a week ago. Um, so those are getting ready to harvest. Uh, but as you can see, um, there's no color for... Sunflower, but soy alfalfa. Not rye. Um, I actually might end up getting rid of rye just because I'll never use it. But, anyways, I don't know if you guys run into an issue if you have too many fruits, but all the non colored in area over here is uh, sunflower, alfalfa, corn, and then over here we have um, soybeans in these four fields and then over here and here is Milo um, yeah so we'll just pull out of town here we'll probably lift up our triaxle as we're going down the road don't really need it yet and then uh, we'll just bring our sprayer over back to the shop here and spray a couple of fields with it Just bringing our uh, easy look easy to load uh, down to the dealer So I'm pretty excited to use this uh, 4440 on this map. Um, haven't used it yet on Wind Chaser. Did a little bit of testing with it on Westbridge. Um, should be a little bit more enjoyable than the 3230 and the Pantera. So we'll just put the pedal down here and cruise. Probably fill up the sprayer down here as well. Uh, actually, I do know we need a spray. Oh, coming a little hot. So there's the beauty. bring up our HUD again. We will unlock that. Disconnect. Raise up our next section. And put up our door here. Beautiful, beautifully scaled 4440, 120-foot boom, 1,200 gallons. So if we hop in here, uh, we'll raise our ladder up. Got our door. Um, we have our blinkers. That works with IC. And then we could do our left blinker. Um, we have war we have our warning and then beacon lights. 
Um, go ahead, turn those off. Then up here we have our front working lights. Turn those off. We have our cabin lights that we can turn on with interactive. And then uh, we have our rear um, working lights too, all scripted in through the uh, interactive controller. Um, then obviously we have our wheel extension with uh, interactive controls. And that's it for now on the interactive controls. So we'll drive this guy over to these poly tanks over here and fill up with some liquid fertilizer. Gonna put down Herb A on a couple fields. Gonna be spraying about 1,200 acres worth of herbicide. 1,200-ish. back this guy up on the trailer here. That guy's ready to go. Hop back in our truck here. Can't see anything through my mirrors. Rented is locked and loaded. And then we got our steering axle here. Let's put on some blinkers as we're heading down the road. Pretty sharp looking uh, piece of equipment. It's really nice on the trailer. And then we'll just boogie on back to the farm here. Too bad we can't do a lease to own. Anyways, I was flirting with the idea of uh, maybe uh, releasing this uh, sprayer at uh, once I reach 15,000 subscribers. Um, I'm sure it will happen anyways, but give people a little bit more motivation to get to that 
benchmark a little sooner. Not that it really matters, but we just need to see that. Anyways, I think we'll start spraying our field, our alfalfa fields here, 344, and then see how long that takes. Um, it's definitely going to be a lot more um, efficient than running a 90-foot 3230. about that time where people are finishing up planning as well uh, in the real world and getting ready to do some um, app, uh, application, some spraying. see our assortment of John Deere over here and then we roll up in our case Patriot loaded up with her bay Should drive pretty nicely right off this nice Drive right up in here. Yeah, unfold our boom. Lift straight on out. just about perfect. So I need to set, I'm using my right mouse, I'm going to change that. Alright guys, ready? <laughs> big sprayer yet. Need to log some hours running this thing.
got to mess with these blooms. GPS here. Start working like 37. So awesome, guys. <laughs> this thing is sweet. Oh, wow, my line's off. That's not cool. Rookie mistake. Just herbicide. Okay, that should be better. So inside, um, we have um, suspension seat. You can see the seats and the the seat and cab both move. So, but then I could press a button and then the cab suspension stiffens up, or I can re-engage the cab suspension, so that's cool. Lower our booms back down. Anytime you're turning at a angle like this, nice to raise your booms up. Lower them back down.
nice quiet in the cab. A little bumpy. So that is field three done just like that. We'll go ahead and pull this guy up. Probably do uh, field 44 in a different video. Taking a few pictures here. Probably gonna call it a day, so thanks for watching.